In this video, I am going to talk about the graphical representations of the position versus time, velocity versus time, and acceleration versus time graphs for objects that are accelerating, um, a graphical represent representation of the kinematics model. So in this example, I'm going to use a quadratic type curve here, uh, which you've seen in the lab, a linear and a constant line here for the acceleration and try to relate these graphs so what we've seen here uh, in previous equations is that uh, an average velocity is equal to the change in position over the change in time so what's that mean in terms of graphs well what that means in terms of graph is graphs is if this is the position X over here let's say I take a look at this data point here and this data point here what a change in position versus time is is the slope and you've talked about this uh, concept in math class this right here is the change in X right here and the change in time if I track these data points down is delta t. So what we're doing is we're actually taking these two points for any given interval and the slope of that line that goes between them right there the slope of that line delta x over delta t is the average velocity. Now sometimes the velocity is lower if I draw a tangent line here sometimes it's higher sometimes it's in the middle but this line that goes through right here that I drew is the average velocity kind of like your average grade. No one grade uh, completely describes your grade unless you got the same grade across at all times. Uh, but an average grade usually does that. And likewise, the average velocity is a collection of all the velocities or just the slope of the line that goes between the two points. If we take that one step further and talk about average velocity, it's the change in velocity over the change in time. So if you take a look at the velocity graph here, I'll take this data point here, and let's say this data point here, it's real nice and neat, and look at this change in velocity. This is the change in velocity from one point to another. And if I track these points down here and here, this is the change in time. And find that if I find the slope between these two points, which is in this case the, the graph itself, it lies right on top of it, the slope of the velocity versus time graph is acceleration. It's how much I change velocity uh, depending on how much time it takes. So here you can see the, the relationships between the equations for average quantities and the graphs. The moral of the story is that the slope between any two points on a position versus time graph which would be given to you is the average velocity not the exact velocity at any point in time just the average um, and the slope of the line between any two points on a velocity versus time graph which is delta V over delta T is the average acceleration and so you can which is a in math class you can see that the slope here is the same at all times which this graph shows it's the same value at all times right there which gives you a constant acceleration and so here you can see the, the relationships between the three graphs for the kinematics uh, uh, graphs position versus time velocity versus time and acceleration versus time just think about slopes